My guest is Alicia. Alicia, why are you here? I'm here today because my fiance and I have been together off and on for the past two years. Um, we had a great relationship. Um, past few months have been really rough. He had broken into my apartment and stole a tape that him and I had made. Um, you made a tape? Like a birthday party? What? A, a sex tape. <laughs> a sex tape. Um, him and I are the only ones that knew about that tape. We were the only ones that knew where it was. This is your fiance. Why does he have to break into your apartment? We Wouldn't were, you let him in? We hey, were, come on in. We were split up at the time. Oh, you were split up at mm -hmm. the time. We were on and off, and um, when we were off, you know, he'd be with somebody, I'd be with somebody else, and when I'd get with somebody, things would happen, and that was the start of it. Um, a week after that, there was nude pictures of me up on Facebook that um, he had sent to family and friends, and my dad is the one who called me and told me about the picture. And that could have been too pleasant an experience to talk to your dad about a naked picture of you online. I was embarrassed, really embarrassed. embarrassed and ashamed. Are you still with him now? Yes. You're still d dating this guy. He, st he broke in and stole a sex tape from you. He posted new pictures of you online. And from what I understand, once something's online, it's, all, it's like they're forever. I got taken down, but... What's that? I had got it taken down. I had made reports yeah, on it. Yeah, but you could take it down. Up. But some goofball out there clicked on it and goes, wow, this is great. And he still got a copy of that, is what I'm saying, you know? And this is a guy you're still with. Why? He said he didn't do it. So you're here today to find out if he did do it. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, he took a lie detector test. And what if he, he fails his lie detector test and he did do this? Then I'm done. Really? <laughs> what else has he done? He's um, put gas or sugar in my gas tank while I had my kids. There was a witness that had seen him doing it the night he had left my apartment. It was an older person, and after the cops were involved, she did not want to make a statement, and she said that she wasn't for sure if it was him or not. All right. So and that's why. You're still back with them and giving them a chance. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, after all this happens, you then got engaged. He said that he didn't do any of that, that he'd never do anything to hurt me. Okay, who broke in your house and stole that sex tape? I believe it was him. Did anybody else know about that sex tape? N no, no one. Okay, so if no one knew about it, and first of all, who would risk going to jail to steal a VHS tape? <laughs> Now, you guys have a daughter together? Yes. And how old's your daughter? Ten months. Ten months. Um, and now he's denying that it's his yes. daughter. Why all of a sudden is he denying it's his daughter? He said that ever since I got pregnant, he never really believed that it was his, that he thought I was just having a baby because I wanted a baby. And everybody told him that I was sleeping around on him. And, and were you sleeping around no. on him? No. At some point during the course of this show, you're going to have to, like, tell me why you love this guy. I mean, and my joke usually is to the girl, I better see Brad Pitt come walking out here, right? Like, he better be that good looking if you're gonna put up with all this. But even if he's that good looking, why would you put up with all that? Oh, her dad. We're gonna see how good looking her dad is. Let's bring him out. Right. Can I be happy for you? I can't be happy for you. Well, I love you... him. He he wants to be with me. He's changed. He is a low life scumbag. It does. It, when when you do stuff like that to you, we how have can a he change? Together. He's very good. He with can't our never daughter. change. <laughs> never. He's great with our daughter. He's you know something? I'll tell you something. He don't beat on me. I'm the. Whole... How do I know that? He don't. You he's believe never everything that he says, so maybe he's telling you. Well, don't say nothing. He's never. How hit am me. I going to know? For me. He does I'll tell you who me. is there for you, your mother and your father, always. <laughs> always. How can I be happy? He put Respect sugar in your it. gas tank, took advantage of, you know, maybe hurting you and my grandkids, okay? Tried to have you arrested so he could have custody of your child. How did he try to have her arrested? Fighting back and forth with a car seat, called the law, said that she abused or she assaulted him. Because he wants 
custody of the child. But yet he's denying you, the child. <laughs> I just don't understand how you could love somebody that treats you that way. You, you say he changed. Mistakes. How, mistakes time and time and time again. You were with him, you broke up. You're with him, you broke up. You're with him, you broke up. It's just an ongoing thing. It ain't going to change. You're a beautiful girl. Very beautiful. Your kids are beautiful. Okay? You don't need something like that. A guy that can't hold a job, you pay all his bills. Come on. So, like, you're dead. And, and thanks for being on the show, sir. I, I certainly appreciate Hi, it. Hi, Steve. Nice to meet you. Um, your dad just said it all. Like, anything, you know, he, he said what I, I would say the same thing. Like, and, and no better than a man who has uh, more invested in you than anybody else in the world. This is your father. And, you know, at first it's, it's a little funny about, you know, sugar in a gas tank and a sex tape and everything. That stuff is minor compared to denying a child, calling the police on you, things like that. Those are not, like, minor, you know, oh, we're going through a crazy, you know, dating period here. No, this is supposedly the father of your children, and he's acting this way? He's just a plain out scumbag. I'm sorry. You're a Excuse me? I never. Excuse never me? Did my, that is my business, punk. That is my what That is my business. My baby. Wait till we get home. Yes, you did. I want to know what Yes, you did. Wait, you did read in front of the cops, rather Justin, when she threw you not, out. She's my you baby. You said, oh, that ain't my baby, right, Ned? Rather, the she's my baby. That. If she's not my baby 100%, she's still my baby. I'm, I'm going to be. You've been there for her? Every time you've had her, she's watched her. She's changed her. She's ba bathed her, fed her, changed her clothes. Every time that you get back with her, she's the mommy. You are no daddy, no how, boy. I'm a better dad than you are. You'll never. Look what I raised, okay? Total respect for this man right there, and I can respect her. How would you like it when your daughter grows up and you, some punk like you treats her like that? You ain't gonna like it. Did you post new pictures of your girlfriend online? No, I did not. Who did it? Uh, there's several people that had access to my other phone. Had so, but access to my other phone. So you have a, a phone with new pictures of her on it? I do. Did you break into her house to steal the uh, sex tape? I did get into her apartment to get the tape out. You got your answer. Um, and why did you do that? I don't have no real answer for that. You just wanted that tape really, really bad? That's what it was. You wanted okay. something to hold over her head is what you wanted. Did you put sugar in her gas tank? No, I did not. Did you ever deny the fact that this daughter, her daughter, is your daughter? I've had question, but she's still my baby. Right? I, she is okay, I understand that, and I, I guess you took a DNA test? I did. Okay, we'll find out, 100%. But, and you're saying because you've spent time with the girl and everything, you feel like your father. Yeah, I, I, I love my baby, right? right? She's my baby or not. Um, why would you have doubts? Do you feel like she's been unfaithful to you? There was, there was times where she'd, um, I'd send her a text message or call her if she wanted to answer. She'd tell me she was with, you know, some friends or whatever. Um, when I'd get the uh, text message right back, I'd, I'd call her right back. She wouldn't answer, and, you know, rumors have it that she's been sleep she was at the time sleeping around. Uh, you took a lie detector test before the show, Justin, and you were asked. While in a relationship with uh, Alicia, have you ever cheated on her? And you answered no. Have you ever posted new pictures of Alicia on the Internet? And you answered no. Uh, did you break into Alicia's house and steal a sex tape? You said no, but you confessed just now on stage that you did, so we can scratch that one off the list. Uh, did you ever put sugar in Alicia's gas tank? And you answered no. And the results for your lie detector test, and I gotta be honest here, I'm not completely shocked, is that you failed the whole test. You're a dead man. I'm gonna get you. And, and I don't think you're shocked either. I don't think no, you're... No, he ain't shocked. You're not surprised by any of this. I, I didn't put those pictures on Yeah, on you did. Internet. Okay. Yeah, you did. You're the man that she's planning her life around. You're the man she said yes to marriage. And, and this is what she gets. And you're going to tell me you really love this girl? Well, how could you do that to me? And I've always been there for you. I've done everything for you. I'm sorry, Alicia. I didn't put that sorry. picture online. Yeah. <laughs> you just said you did. I did not put that picture on. They don't yes, lie, Justin. Did. I didn't do that. But how about the point of you cheated on her? I, uh, 
Alicia had known about when I was uh, sleeping with Not while we were together. We, I never slept with her while you and I were That's together. That's what the question asked, asked if, while we were together. Right, while you with while them we with together. Alicia. I had never, I never slept with anybody while I was with Alicia. I swear to God. I mean, how can anybody believe anything that you say, Justin? Come on. I don't think anything's going to change. He, he has no moral fiber in him. You know, nothing. There's, you know, he just does whatever he wants. And if, it, it, if, if you're in his way and you get hurt, too bad. Because you know why? You'll keep taking him back. And, and honestly, this will be pick a door, and I know where you're going. And it's not to be the little you or get mad at you. But, yeah, I'm frustrated because I could be this guy in a few years. And I could be begging my daughter, don't go out that door. Because you could be just, you could be my daughter, for Christ's sake. And nobody, no man with the daughter, wants her to go out the wrong door. <laughs> Alicia, you took a lie detector test before the show, and you were asked, did you have sexual intercourse with someone other than Justin around the time you got pregnant? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth either. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe you're meant to be together. I don't know what to say. You have a child involved, and for our children, we, you know, you should, and we try to be role models for our kids, and really, with the way you're acting, Neither one of you are being role models right now. <laughs> but, Justin, let's find out the moment of truth. You had questions whether you are the father of her child, and the results of the DNA test is that you are the father. All right. <laughs> you know it. Um, and here is the moment of truth. Justin, you can go out that door. Thanks for being on the show. I hope you grow up sometime and take care of your kids. <laughs> Have a nice uh, day. Uh, Matt, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. And uh, you know what? You seem like a really great dad. You're involved with your kids. You love your daughter very much. Very much. And, uh, very much. I sincerely hope things work out for you. Thanks Thank for being you. on the show. And here we go. It's, it's just one of the great mysteries of life. Pick a door. Out there is a guy that is using you, lying to you, uh, causing abuse to you. And you could go out that door and continue on living the life that you have. Or you can go out that door to a man that's nothing but love in his heart, who gave, you know, you, your life who has nothing but the best wishes and hopes and dreams, that wants everything for you and wants you to come home so you can be loved in the right way. So, again, this is how we end the show. You don't even have to say a word. It's your life. You're a grown-up. You came here for answers. We gave them to you. But now we're all interested to know where you go from here. Are you going to go out the door and be with Justin? Or are you going to go out the door and be with your father? I wasn't shocked, are you? But you still got to understand the type of person you are. It's all right to assume that. Yeah, you but, going and, off. And, and, yeah, yeah, and don't, don't get me wrong. Neither did nothing to you. You going off of what Dante said then. I'm going off the situation. I'm going off the fact that the people that have been in my house have been in my house countless times. For the money to have been taken from where it was taken at, they had to have been where in Where was it? It was in my drawer. It was actually tucked inside a whole bunch of clothes. But like this, if you was to walk in my room right. looking at it, you, would just think it's just laundry. Right. You would have to actually go through it to actually find now, it. Now, my wife wants to know. Let me explain. Did Dante steal the money? OK. <laughs> Let me explain to you how much I feel like this. If Dante, no, I do not feel Dante took the money. If your test came back and said that Dante took the money, I wouldn't believe your test. Okay. That's how much I believe in my best friend. OK.
Dante. I got you. Man, it'd be something if you failed. This would be something. It'd make for a better show. Uh, it, it would. would. <laughs> but it would definitely question the lie detector test in my mind. Dante did take a uh, lie detector, and we asked him, did you take any of Rajan's missing money? He said no. You told the truth. Oh. I'm trying to decide. I really, I don't have a feeling here. Read the test. Read the test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you didn't take the money. All right, go ahead. Did you take any of Rajan's missing money? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Oh, oh, I knew I told you, man. Serious? I told you. Man, this is a gimmick. So I did not take his though. money. Don't come around anymore. You. you gotta go. This is a lie. I, told you. I did not take I told you. that man money. I told you. Okay, come on now. I That's all everything you I love. took the money. I, told you. I did not take the money. Babe, I told you. No, these I guys aren't violent. They're not gonna. I don't wanna hear this. Okay, come on. I did not take hey, this man money. So come come long, here. Come Y'all messing with my with, a, no, with my no, livelihood. I nobody, did not take this man nobody's money. Nobody's messing with you because, first of all, I didn't ask you to come on my show. Oh, you wanted I to come. I did not oh, take God. that man money. <laughs> That's okay. wrong. Okay, hold on. And then, you know, you some guys lying. like you, you'll start screaming, oh, the show's fake, you set me up. <laughs> well, like I said, Dante failing would man, be a much better show. Man. You're fake. Man, that's now fake. you're right. Yeah. Okay. That's you're gonna steal a guy's money, and then you blame it on his best friend. Man, that your sister's fake. out there. That's fake. And what do you want to do? Hear that. You that's want to away. That's fake. It's fake. Well, because maybe the pills that you were stealing Yo, or and everything doing. everything I love, I did not and, take and, that and, man and, money. And so that's a lie. Up, and man, that's you a lie. Your show's fake. Your show's fake. Your show fake. If I show's fake. Yes. You're not. That show fake. You're an honest guy. I did You've not been take stealing it. from your sister. I did not take your that sister money, even knows man. that. Man, you're man. a addict. Man, you're not stealing money from someone. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, no. Let man. let the I'm drug addict let the thief steal. Him, but do me a favor. Follow him out. Don't let him go by my green room and let him steal my money. Edith's wallet was stolen and a check was forged for over six hundred dollars. And she immediately suspected that her daughter's new boyfriend Kevin had something to do with it. But as the investigation unfolded, Edith discovered that her own daughter, Ashley, may have been involved as well. Take a look at the story and stay tuned for an update to find out who got arrested after the show. My daughter, Ashley, met a guy online named Kevin. Immediately, they was living together, and I thought that was too quick. We don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. And ever since then, just little things have been happening, like on February 2nd, I had my wallets stolen out of my purse. Soon after that, I realized that there was a check wrote out on my husband's account for over $600. Because whoever stole my wallet took the check and wrote it out. Then I called the Sheriff's Department, and they advised me to come down and report everything stolen, make our report, and they would go from there. And after that, he soon called me and my husband and let us know that they had pictures at the bank at the time. Supposedly, the checks were wrote out. And I was shocked to see that it was my daughter, Ashley, and her boyfriend, Kevin. This has been really hard because, like I said, me and my daughter is really close, and I would never think that she would do anything to hurt me like this. What's going through your head right now? <laughs> that the Tescas could prove that they did it. My daughter has never done anything like this to hurt me. Did you steal either swallow? Oh, well, no, sir. No. Now, she, if, it, if it was a car, if you were missing your car, you'd come see me and I might have it in my backyard. And you got 10 years for stealing cars? Oh, uh, it was 37 cars from car lots. Wow. And they never recovered any of them, and I owe the state of Maryland half a million dollars restitution. You owe half a million bucks? Yeah. Well, then you stole that 600. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to take every dime you can get on to. One day, okay. it was like 11 o'clock at night, I messaged her and was like, why didn't you answer me? Oh, my mom's... Got to call the ambulance. And that's something just snapped. I had a half a tank of gas and two cigarettes, and it was three hours away. I took the chance. And then you met her? I, I arrived at her house about 2.30 in the and morning. And you've been together ever since? We haven't and left And the mom let you move in. 
was, yes, yeah, Steve, because um, I was staying in my car. I told her, look, you want to go in there? You go in there. I'll be right here when you come out. But she wouldn't leave my side, well, Steve. You know. You, but she contacted the police because somebody forged a $600 check. Correct. Uh, one day she calls me or calls Ashley and tells her, well, you know, Calvin's account is a negative balance. They're That's saying they bounced the check. And she was like, what the, what's going on? There's somebody wrote the check out. Somebody wrote a check. With, it didn't have no name on it. It just had the amount and some scribble scrabble and a date. Right. It didn't even have his name on it. Right. And somebody deposited it into the, an ATM machine, of course. And your picture and Ashley's were there at the time that the check was deposited. Correct. So listen, you're not denying that you were at the ATM machine. Oh, no, I was at the ATM machine four times. But, I have an account there. OK. But isn't it you know, a little odd that when the checks are cashed, you're there? Yeah. OK. I mean. Now, do you have any documentation that you made a withdrawal or a deposit it at kept that time? On, she was watching. It kept on saying insufficient funds. Now, well, you were trying to take money out? Yeah. OK. I mean, it'd be pretty stupid for you to steal a $600 check, because I got to imagine you're still on probation, right? No. Yeah. Parole? Probation. Probation. Yes, sir. So if you jam yourself up, you're going back in, right? Correct, sir. For how long? 17 years. Woo-hoo! Man. I mean, but, it put, but it's putting a strain on me because I'm feeling, though, that I'm coming between her and her mom's relationship. Well, obviously, that's, that, well, is, and, the, that is happening. And, and, and I'm trying to tell and her let's to meet go her, home. Let's meet her mom. Edith. My daughter has never been the same when, until she met you. I like, never would steal changed. from you. I would no, never steal from you. I don't care. Her. She has changed since she's met what you. What if he fails the test today? Then I have no choice. I'm taking the test to the police officer. And, and what if your daughter fails? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. I have no choice. I mean, they even well, said that with my hands. Well, let's your daughter, Ashley. Did you do anything to help steal your mom's wallet? No. 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 Did, Not did at all. Do you believe Kev, Kevin is capable of stealing your mom's wallet? Not at all. How do you explain that both of you show up at the ATM the same moment the stolen check is cashed? You don't find that odd? Yeah, it's odd, but I had nothing to do with it. What if he fails? So let's say you're telling me the truth. You don't know anything about it. Right. What if he fails? Then I can't be with him because I can't be with anybody that stole from my mom because that's my you mom. Would, I would hope not. I mean... Kevin. Yeah. Took a lie detector test. Correct, sir. We asked Kevin, did you participate in any way in taking Edith's wallet? He answered no. Did you take Edith's wallet? He answered no. Were you the one who deposited that stolen check for $600 into the ATM machine? He answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Kevin did not tell the truth. What? I, I would not. You're out of the house. Okay, I'm done. So we gave him two polygraph tests, deception indicated, and you used countermeasures. How'd you I... tried to use countermeasures to beat the test. <laughs> You're a thief. You're untrustworthy, and you stole a little girl away from her mother. You are a scumbag. You're a <laughs> girl. <laughs> and that's the guy you love, Mr. Butt Squeezing Cheeks up there. Ashley, if you had anything to do with it, please tell me now before these results I come didn't. Back. Your daughter came here and took a lie detector test. We asked her, did you participate in any way in taking your mother's wallet? She answered no. She told the truth. Do you know for sure if Kevin took the mother's missing wallet? She answered no. She did not tell the truth. <laughs> do you know for sure if Kevin deposited that $600 check into the ATM machine? She answered no. She did not tell the truth. Wow. How long do you think you would last in, in jail? Not a day. Not a day. Nope. And he's going back for seven more. <laughs> when they catch him on this, he's got to go back and do seven more years in jail for 600 bucks. When did he finally admit it to you? When he was cashing the check? When did you know? I Be honest. Didn't know. You did know. You want to stand there? You want to keep saying you don't know? Good luck with that plan, because that's when the judge is going to go bam, 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 and give you some time. This is your mother. You don't want to tell her the truth now?
You want to keep up with the lie? What do you want to say to your mother? Nothing. Nothing. What do you want to say to your daughter? I'm done. Three counts of felonies, Ashley. Three counts. You're going down along with your scumbag boyfriend back there. You're, you're going down too. Tell your mother that you knew. All right, go be with your sad sack boyfriend. Get the hell off my stage. Hey, Steve, this is Ida. Since the show, Kevin has been arrested. My daughter was arrested. Um, she has since been bonded out. Um, I just hope she realizes that this man was no good for her. We are trying really hard to get our mother-daughter bond back. It's going to take a while to trust her again, but it will happen eventually. Um, I just want to thank you for all your help, Steve. Thanks. Hey, Edith, I hope Kevin goes back to jail where he belongs. And hopefully this was a wake-up call for Ashley. This was an extreme betrayal, but I hope she will work hard to regain your trust. I wish you the best of luck going forward. Thanks for the update. Amanada is a 17-year-old high school student who was heartbroken by the thought that one of her older sisters sabotaged her senior photos. She believes that one of them stole the wig she planned on wearing in the pictures. Not only did the wig cost $430, but she spent her entire summer savings on it. Her older sister, Abia, was on the show six years ago for a DNA test, and she is upset that her little sister is bringing her back to accuse her of being a thief. Take a look. I was here six years ago regarding a DNA test for my now seven-year-old son. You are the father of a kid. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? No. Now I'm back about my sister's missing wig. I know I did not steal the wig. I do not know who stole the wig. I have an idea of who stole the wig. I'm here to prove that I had nothing to do with her wig going missing. Anybody in my family knows that I don't steal. I would never steal from my sister. She is my 17-year-old sister who works hard, who I am proud of for everything that she has going on and is doing in her life. She was freaking out because her wig went missing the day that she was supposed to take senior pictures, which I fully understand. But I don't deserve to be here for this because I didn't steal it. Am I gonna wear the wig in front of her? What am I gonna do with her wig? This is, is it's crazy to me and it's, it's nonsense. I just wanna prove that I had nothing to do with her wig. Also, my other sister is here to prove that she did not steal it. This wig was over $400 and I can understand why she wants to find out why her wig is missing and who took it. But I can honestly say I had nothing to do with it. I waited four years for this, and somebody, it didn't go missing with one of my friends in the house, it went missing with my family in the house. Two days before my senior pictures, I went to work. When I came back that night, I couldn't find the wig, but I just... Now, can, I, I don't want to cut you off, but when you buy a wig, and you know, you this is a big purchase for a young girl, right? And it's an important purchase, and it means a lot to you. Where do you put that wig in your house? I put it in my vanity with all my other wigs. Okay, so you have other wigs, but this is the star attraction. Yes. And it's on like a mannequin hat or something? Yes. Okay. I, I just, you know, I don't know <laughs> these things. Obviously. <laughs> um, so what I'm saying is you don't have it like hid away like money or something. It's there. And everybody knows, hey, man, this is the wig, right? Yes. Okay. And... So you got it there, you go to school one day, and you come back, what happens? The wig is gone. So I let it, I, I didn't want to dwell too much on it because, again, I had work the following day because I work every weekend because I cannot work on school days because I'm in school and I'm also taking college classes to earn college credits before I get into college. So I came back from getting my nails done, forcing your pictures, and when I, f when I couldn't find the wig, I was just in disbelief. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it's not something you want to... It was really overwhelming, you know? So in your heart of hearts, who do you think stole your wig? In all honesty, I think it was my sister, Abia. Abia. Let's meet Abia. I mean, so let me ask you something. You just literally said my name. You, so you accused me, right? So what you gonna do when the lie detector come back that I didn't steal your How What you, you gonna do? 
I should be home with my kids right now. I shouldn't be here. It's a wig, but it's more than Steve, a wig. Steve, I understand all of that. Right? Okay, but I should be home with my three months. Yeah, you should. It, but sometimes. My baby but right some, now. But I shouldn't some, be here. But sometimes for family, you have to sacrifice your own time. Absolutely. For them, Absolutely. Right? Okay, do you have any idea who took this wig? <laughs> Do I have any idea? Yeah. It could be anybody, because like I said. Well, that could be anybody, though. This, you're in your house. I, 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 can't, I can't say who stole it. I'm not going to accuse anybody, because as you see, I just got upset with her for right. accusing me of stealing it. But so if you, I can't prove who stole it, I'm not going to accuse anybody. But you for sure didn't steal it. I for sure did not steal your wig. What's your other sister's name? Anaya. Anaya, let's meet her. Really? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Embarrassing? For a wig. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, okay, so you're the oldest sister, you're the middle sister, and you're the youngest sister. Yes. Um, you know, I know everybody's mad, but it doesn't seem like anybody's empathizing with her. I get what she's saying. I really do. But honestly, me, I really shouldn't be here. I'm tired of being in the middle. I'm the black sheep of the family. They always pick me. Why are you the black sheep? I don't know. And honestly, I really shouldn't be here because I'm the one who put them on to the wigs that they both got on their head right now. I understand both you being mad to be accused of stealing, but this obviously... I get the sentimental. Yeah. I get it. Because it just means it, a lot to her, and she's hurt. Yeah, but she I, I feel like... She worked all summer for the wig, and Her perspective on it, she, her reasons to why she think we would steal it, because it, she's the first one to graduate. I'm happy you're graduating. Somebody needs to do it. I wanted to graduate, too, but... Life took another way from me. I'm happy you're doing it. Whenever she needs anything, I help her with it. She scratch my back, I scratch her. She do you, my makeup, I let her wear my wigs, whatever. You took a lie detector test. Yes. And we asked you, do you know who took your sister's wig? You answered no. Did you steal that wig that your sister bought for her senior pictures? You answered no. The results came back the same, and they came back that Anea told the truth. And maybe you won't be the black sheep anymore. <laughs> Abia, you came here. Yes. Uh, took a lie to tuck the test. And we asked you, do you know who took your sister's wig? You answered no. Did you steal the wig that your sister bought for her senior pictures? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question. And it came back that Abia did not tell the truth. Wow. Wow. All my life, first of all, nah, shut up, shut up. Number one, I don't need a steal from you, baby girl. But you did. I got a city job. You stole I got a away city job. from her. I don't need to steal from her. But you did. I don't need to steal from her. I don't know what type of I got going on. I don't know if it's because of whatever the case may be. What? What? What, what, what case may be happy? I didn't steal your wig. Her to find I did out not the steal truth. your wig. And if, like I said. How did she and pass? Like I said, and you did it. Excuse me. How like did I said, she pass? for you too. For both of y'all, if y'all really think I stole that wig, don't speak to Abia never again. And Abia won't speak you to y'all. You really don't want them to ever speak to you again? If wig she, thief? If she... I'll be a wig thief, baby. Yeah, you are a wig thief. <laughs> I love y'all. They need to put... I love y'all. They need I'm to put a poster. I'm gonna get home to my kids hey. where I belong. They they do that. Do my kids. That. Abia, wig thief. <laughs> your wigs away okay, from her. Yeah. Keep your wigs away get from her. Get the hell out of here. Um, I'm really sorry that this came down to a family member stealing from you. Uh, my wife just told me that we're gonna buy you a wig, uh, so that, you know, I hope it helps you, you know, some way. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if it's too late for your senior photo. Uh, maybe we contact the school and, and see if they'll redo the photo and get you all set up. But you'll have a brand new wig uh, for you to wear. All right? And I hope somehow your sister will someday stand up and admit that she did this 
and ask you for your forgiveness. And be sure I make sure you took mine too. <laughs> Good luck to you. It's very nice for you too. Thanks, Thanks for coming on the show. I, I hope you. I hope you support your sister. I'm, I'm, I'm very sad for her. Kind of like almost excited to meet your mother. <laughs> because if what you're saying is true, I really want to know how the hell she did all this. Right? Yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah, well, definitely. Well, let's meet her. Here's your mom, Jamie. Pam, do you know that every time I got robbed, you knew the people? You yeah, knew I, I knew them. Too. I knew you them, knew but them I continued too. to tell you no, to stay you away from them. You know I told mama. you to stay away from no. everybody that you were sitting there involved with. That's why you actually went it to was foster care in the beginning. It wasn't because I of never robbery. had you to help How many times me. I had did you go nobody. Into care? I had no one. You had. You I had into, everybody. I went into foster care four times because you exactly. didn't raise me. No. Why did you keep? putting your daughter in foster care. In the beginning when she was born, I was addicted to drugs. I was an alcoholic. There was things that I did. I have changed my life around. I've stopped doing the drugs. I've stopped doing everything that I was doing. How about when she was 14? When she was 14, she was acting out. She continued she acting out. Me. But I, you realize most teenagers act out. Yes, right? but you can't hit them nowadays. You go to, you're getting put in you jail. Did. You, you did? did? Yes, you did. Yes, you And I tried to take responsibility to make her do what she needed to do. But nothing I did A real helped. parent never Good gives job. up on their child no matter what. It's uh, invaded, right? And yes. it gets robbed with her in the house. First of all, you leave her alone for a week. There no, every other day checking on her. No, he wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine me and my wife would leave for a week and have like, well, hey, check on my kids every other day. No. I was out of state doing a roofing it was job. The man was doing the work. You just went to go make sure that he wasn't cheating on you. You're and you so full of crap. Said that. Okay. You're the so, victim, right? Okay, You're but the hold victim? on. But hold okay. on. Two days after this uh, robbery, you put her back in foster care. Yes, I did. Why? Because the police told me she did have some involvement into it. And you believed them? Yes, I did. It was so, because, said so. because the police believe that she's involved in this and that, you decide. I'm going to wash my hands of her. I didn't wash my hands of her. Yes, I did. When I watched the tape that you made for us and how, like, she's your baby, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And yeah, then, I missed her. And then two days later, you give her up for foster care, like, after a, a traumatic event. Like, to me, that's not the loving, caring mother. Y'all don't understand. Did you say sorry for once? Sorry. Is that what you want to hear? Because I can't, I can't mean mind. it until I hear the results. Never mind. I can't never. do it until I hear the results. Thank you, never mind. Yeah. Um, Tell the three of these incidents, did you receive any benefit? Money, drugs, merchandise, jewelry? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Tabitha told the truth. <laughs> I was your daughter. I know you, you should have believed me. I couldn't. Because I couldn't believe it because you were around. Shut up you were stealing from me. You were doing me. something. No, I wasn't. And it's yes, still you my was. fault. It's still my fault. Yes, the other day it's we were getting fined. It's still my fault. You went over to the sat there and took $200 from me. Just Shut the up, other day. Me. Shut up talking to me. Bitch, no, did nobody <laughs> steal from him? You always got to make it seem like it's my Away and she had nothing to do with the... It has nothing to do with her getting put in foster care because of the robbery. She just did not... You, you she said that you thought that she was involved. I did think she was involved. And then two days later after the robbery, you gave her away and she had nothing to do with it. And I and I will apologize. I will make uh, it up to her. God. How do you make it up giving your child away? Because she up? was unruly. Tabitha is the only one that has hurt me throughout anything. How did she hurt you? She continuously chooses other people over me. Whenever I sit there and took her to school, you chose she did truancy. other she did people. Everything. You choose men over your daughter. That's what she says. No, it's not. You gave your daughter away. You're right, I did. And Multi I think, and I think that's the best thing because the people that she was hanging thing. out with is drugged up or an alcoholic. Right, but you were a drug addict. You were an yes, alcoholic. Yes, I was. You're hanging out with multiple different guys. You, as the adult, were doing those things. And you want to blame for your child for You're doing right. the same things? You're right. As an adult, I was doing that. Is that your mother? Things. 
Uh, so, Tavitha, I, I was just going to say, I was hoping you were going to come back because I'd like to go back out on stage and read your mother's results. Okay, I told you it wasn't me, Mama. I love you. I, I love you. I always have and I always I will. Hear that. And you, you sent me out to the I was like, you ain't even care about me. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to love me, dude. It's I'm done. Up to what okay. You okay. I didn't know you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mom, say it back. I love you, dude. You know I love you. No, you don't. You ruined my childhood, and you don't even care. And I, I say that. every time I say something, you always say, "Tap to just get over it. It doesn't matter anymore." Yes, it does. Cause you ruined my childhood. I just wanted my mama. I love you. I love you, dude. And you don't get. Jamie came here to take a lie detector test to prove that she didn't um, set up all these uh, robberies. And then when she went into Dan's room, Dan states that Jamie was untestable. Jamie tested positive for alcohol. She tested positive huh? for uh, marijuana. She tested positive for methamphetamines. A what? Are you Okay, you hold on a second. Let's you, let's say the methamphetamine, which I don't believe it anyways, but I don't you know. that you took a pill. But you you yourself she stood on my you stage do? and said you've been you clean for so many years. I told them I smoked marijuana because I had okay. seizures. What, what about, I don't take okay. medication for okay. it. What did you okay. Okay. I don't even mind she, the weed. Hold on, hold on. She serious. took the methamphetamine for I didn't take okay. meth, I took an energy pill. Okay, she took an energy pill. She took the marijuana for what? I have seizures. Seizures. What did you take the alcohol for? Because I like to drink. Yeah. Well, okay. Because you're a drunk. Okay. You're doing meth okay. now? You and yourself. That's what we do? You yourself said yeah. you're an alcoholic. Yes. So why are you drinking? Because once every two weeks I get out and I drink with my friends. I damn sure do. Aren't you glad we came? Yep, sure All I am. All the answers are out now. Thanks, everybody. I'm not She's just <laughs> looking for her energy pill. <laughs> She's going low on energy. Um, Everyone can stop calling me a thief now. It wasn't you, me. You know what? You, you came here, you cleared your name, but I would hope that anybody that knows you and knows your mother would ba basically come to the conclusion that your mother, you know, she's messed up. Uh, don't let your daughter down, which I, I, I'm oh, no, sure you won't. Great. There you go. But I'd be careful. I would be careful with how much exposure your mom has to your daughter. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I called the show today because four years ago, Maggie was house sitting in my sister's home while she was in the hospital. And she stated that someone came and robbed the home. But the story just didn't make sense to me because it's like nobody had access to the home. Nobody knew that the money was in there aside from Jessica and Maggie. I didn't even know that she had that much money in the home at the time. She had $20,000 in cash in a purse in her room. And the only people knew was Maggie and Jessica. When she stated to my sister that the home was robbed, she FaceTimed my sister and showed the, the, you know, the apartment. But it didn't look like a robbery. It kind of looked staged. It didn't look like as if someone was really trying to come in there and like get certain things. You know, the TV was still there, games were still there. A lot of things were still there that could have been taken for money. But instead, it was the bag that was taken. Everything else was just moved around. So it just didn't really make any sense. My sister isn't in the best of health. She has lupus, and when the money came up missing, she had a stroke. Her whole left side just was not functioning. A lot of people in the family are not dealing with Maggie because of this. So now we need answers, whether she had something to do with it or she was the one who actually took the money. Before this happened, me and Maggie were like sisters. I mean, 
Our mothers are sisters. We grew up like sisters, like she's like, like my best friend. And we're just now building a relationship all over again and it's still kind of like rocky because I'm still on the fence of like, did she do it or did she not? And that's why I need answers. We watch the show all the time and Maggie was with the idea of coming onto the show. So now we're here. If Maggie fails this lie detector says, I'm gonna have to cut off. I'm sorry. I really love her. I really do. I really do. And that hurt me so much. Just knowing like she did that to my sister and my sister was good to her. It's like that don't, it's, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt bad. Uh, that's your cousin Lashana tape, and she believes that you stole her sister's money, which was a lot of money, $20,000. Right. Did you steal the money? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't have nothing to do with that money being stolen. When it came up missing, I was just as shocked as they was. And after all this time, like, we grew up as sisters, basically. We first cousins. And it's, it was four years ago, and for them to bring it up now, like, after all this time, y'all really still think in the back of y'all head that I had something to do with it. I thought we let it go. I thought it was over. I thought we was better than that. What was uh, Lachey and her sister's reaction to the money being stolen? Jessica was hurt. I was hurt that I even had to tell her that, you know, on my watch, oh, somebody broke into your house and the only thing is missing is the money. Yeah. I know what it sound like, so I was just as hurt as she was. Lachey, I don't really know, because we wasn't kind of talking at the time, but. I was hearing that she felt like I had something to do with it or I was a part of it. Do you think the stress of losing, you know, having $20,000 stolen from you caused Jessica's stroke? Um, it might, it, yes. I think it played a part in it because yeah. it was a lot going on besides, you know, that money. So, yes, yeah, that's I think it played a part in it. Were you the only one uh, in the house? You and your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. So you're the only one staying there? Well, yeah, we were only there for a couple hours. Right, but, right. but I'm saying you were, nobody yes. else was there. Were the police called? Yes, I called the police. I made a police report. They it, dust for fingerprints, anything like that? No. They yeah. said basically it was nothing that they can do because it was just cash money, wasn't no cameras and, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Someone told you that your cousin stole the money? Yes. Yeah, and you yes. believed that person? Yes, I did because yeah. of how close they are. Yeah. Yeah, she's the one who told me. I'm doing back and forth. I'm driving almost three hours away just to help her and do this and do all this. You're not, helping not because once of her, medi I said, her medical uh, condition. Right, yeah. because she needed help. And I'm leaving my kids sometimes just to be out there to help her. Yeah. Not once, oh, uh, you, you, you think you can give me some money for the, uh, because I came out here to, you think you, none of that. So for y'all to even still have that in the back of y'all head after all this time, it's mind-boggling, like, why, that's crazy, we sisters. Well, you know, whether it's $2, $20, $200, you know, if somebody stole $20 in my house, I'd be pissed off. Like, you don't have to steal. Yeah, that's but, a fact. Like, and then on top of that, like, all the times I didn't been around Jessica mm -hmm. and, like, been in all of her homes and stuff like that, like, a dollar has never even came up missing. And then all of a sudden, you let this man come over to the house and $20,000 right. is just gone? So let's see. Okay, let me so ask you this. Okay, so now I'm in cahoots with this. Now I'm I in cahoots with him. I never said cahoots. I'm talking about we're saying facts, Right, 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 right. I I'm get saying. that part, too. But yeah. the fact is that we're here because yeah, obviously y'all think we in cahoots. Yeah, because we need answers. I'm not, we need answers. I've never been in cahoots with this And we man. asked you, did you enter Jessica's bedroom and steal money belonging to Jessica? You answered no. Did you go into Jessica's purse and take money that was inside it? You answered no. Did you tell your boyfriend that Jessica had money saved in her house at any time while dating him? You answered no. Did you participate at any time in any way by setting the theft up, taking the money, spending it, or helping in removing money belonging to Jessica from her house without her knowledge? You answered no. no. Come on, come on, Maggie, man. The results came back the same to each one of those four questions, and it came back that Maggie did not tell the truth. <laughs> oh, my gosh. OK. <laughs> That's Maggie, not right. Maggie, you didn't tell the truth? 
Damn. You gonna steal from Jessica though? That's what I didn't do. You gonna steal That's from what Jessica I didn't though? Do. That's what I you didn't do. You gonna steal do. from Jessica though? That's what I didn't do, bro. Like, oh God, I didn't do it. You gonna steal I from Jessica? And if you still want to believe it, there's nothing I can say or even do at this moment to make you feel any different. She had, she had a stroke though. She almost died, and you stole the money. No. I was believing you, girl, bro. Girl. I was believing I you. I not steal money. <laughs> this is stupid, oh God. Beyond so me. this, this a lie? On my mama. On my mama. <sighs> yeah. You believe this? Okay, so when we this? give a lie detector test, the cut score is plus six to pass, uh, minus six to fail. And Maggie was a minus 18. What the You think right. this is fake? Steve is real, bro. What you mean? What I believe, what I know. I know for facts, I didn't have nothing to do with that money being stolen, so. We didn't force you to come here. Right. We don't know you. Right. I'm not setting you up. I'm not sandbagging okay, right. you. I don't care if you took the money or you didn't. It's not my family. It's not my money. Do I, th do I look down on people that steal? Damn right I do. I think they're, you know. Um, do I look down on people that steal from their own family? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> do I think your boyfriend had a little bit to do with it, talking to you? Maybe you had a couple drinks. Maybe he said, let's take that money. We'll have a good time. And yeah. I'm like, OK, let's do it. What the yeah, that's exactly Negative. what I think happened. Negative. That's Negative. exactly Negative. how it happened. Negative. <laughs> You know, I've done things that I, I felt bad about, I felt ashamed, I had to apologize for, for her. But like, how do you go back around your family like knowing you stole all this money from your own family member? How do you, how do you I've like- I've never stole no yeah, from Well, my that's what you say, memory. but you know, I don't know if you came here, nobody believed you, you said before I came you got here. Because you think I'm, okay. Now really, Jeez. nobody's ever gonna believe you. Right, right, right. Do you want to just say, yeah, I took the money. Why Forgive me. That? I'll put me why on a payment plan. When I I'll be like, I'll be like that's why. my bad. Hey, I didn't I did this. That's not it right here. Is you steady way hey, over here? Are you going to admit that you stole the money? Why would I do that? Then get off my stage. <laughs> Keep going I'm on that walk of shame. I'm Don't going. stop. Ain't no shame over here. Um, what you know, I, I'm, I wish there was some way that you know, that your sister could get some of that money back, because you know, twenty thousand dollars would go a long way, I'm sure, in her life and medical bills and everything else. Right. But uh, now you know the truth. No more wondering. Whether you continue that relationship, that's up to you and your sister. But at least now you know. I'm sorry we didn't have better results for you. Good luck to you. Before the allegations, me and Genovas were very cool. We talked every day, hung around every day. And now I don't talk to her because of all of this. But I'm here today to clear my name. Me and Genova both were housekeepers back in July at a hotel. When Genova was cleaning her room, she found some money in the room and she came and got me and uh, showed me the money and then we both left the room and when we left the room both of us was outside of the door joking playing at the door and I had the key and I was playing with my key on the door but I never went back inside the room after we got through joking at the door I went my way and she went her way but the lock system in the hotel showed that I went back that it showed me playing at the door with my key then it comes up that the money goes missing, and I didn't do it. So the next day, I get a phone call from the, bo the boss at the hotel, and they was telling us that we had a meeting the next morning. Both Genova and I were in that meeting. So when we left that meeting, Genova started blaming me. I feel really bad because me and Genova grew up together, and she was supposed to believe me. I wouldn't do anything like that. I have two kids that I have to take care of, and I would not risk my job. After the meeting, but we both were fired. The next week, I found another job. 
it's not my fault that she couldn't find another job. When she found the money, she shouldn't have came to me. She should have went to the boss. I took a lie to take the test, and it will prove today that I did not take the money, and hopefully this can be in the past. I never had anyone to say that I stole anything ever in my life, from jobs to friends. Everyone knows that I do not steal and will not steal from a friend. And that would not be the reason a friend gets fired from her job. I feel like she should believe me. I feel like she should have trusted me. And after this, I don't think it'll be the same. You're good friends with Rachel. Uh, you were before this incident happened? Yes, sir. We're best friends. Like, we really grew up together. Like, we're basically cousins. Like, we call each other cousins. Sure. So you, I, I'm assuming you needed this job because you're raising a, yes, a small child? Yes, I did. Yes. I had four kids, four like, kids. that I got to provide for. Sure. And this job was everything. Like, I was trying to get on my feet. I was trying to save for a car. Like, I had a baby turn one that month on the 18th. And I was not able to do anything for her. And now my son's birthday is coming up on the 16th. And I'm not able to do anything for him. Like, he say, Mom, like, what you going to do for my birthday? Like, I don't know what to tell him. Right. Like, I don't have a job. I'm still without a job. How did it come about uh, that you and uh, Rachelle were accused of stealing this money on your job? Me and Rachelle worked together which it was early that morning, it was my first room that I had to clean. I seen the money, I seen the amount wrote on the envelope, so I went to Rachelle, I'm like, girl, them folks left all their money in the room. And it said $1,200 on it? Which had $1,200, which I'm trusting Rachelle, that's why I came to you, because we very close. And I'm like, I'm finna go tell the manager. So I go and get the manager, I tell her, we get off that Wednesday, Rachelle stayed around me all day. And it was like suspicious. Thursday, I get a phone call from a man, which is over the temp service. And he's like, Genova, a large amount of money missing. So I'm tripping out now. Like, I'm really feeling like I'm about to go to jail for this. And I know it's something that I didn't do. I'm not finna take action. You didn't take the money? No, I didn't take the money. So now I'm crying on the phone with the man. Like, sir, I'm not finna take the blame for something that I didn't do. And he was like, well, Genova, we really don't think that you did it. Like. Rachelle, a key was used at your door two times. They could see from the key, and it's an electronic key, that she had access to the room? Uh-huh. So they was telling me that her key read on my door two times. So I'm like, wow. So I'm getting blew up on my other end from Rachelle. So she's like, what, what they saying? Which they talked to you first. She's like, what is he saying? What is he saying? I'm like, this is real serious. Like, this man saying that your key hit my, your, my door two times. Like, I don't know what to think, but that you did it. Like, my mind is everywhere now. So I finally talked to Rachelle. She was like, don't you remember when I was um, playing at your door? And I'm like, yeah, you was playing at my door, but I do not remember you using your key at all. What do you mean playing by her door? Playing how? She was like, I go in. She was like, I'm finna go in there and get that money. But she she real playful, like she played like this. She like, I'm finna go in there and get the money. So I'm like, girl, you better not go in there. Like, them folks gonna have the police up here on us. Right. So I went to go get the manager when Rachelle was playing with the door. You were still left on my floor. We worked on the same floor that day. Do you think she took the money? Like, she was doing a lot of suspicious stuff. So, yes, I really <laughs> do feel like she got the money. So they call you and they fire both of you. Well, the manager had already let me know. She was like, y'all probably ain't gonna have y'all job unless you make her confess. So we went up there that Friday morning on our payday. And the man was talking to us. He came in and met me. He was like, hey, how you doing? Or whatever. And he tried to shake Rachelle's hand and meet her, but she was real aggressive with him. Like, that looked suspicious to me, too. Like, this man coming to get to the bottom of it. Like, why would you, why would you be mean to him? Right. And she, that, that Wednesday, she asked me, she was, when I was saying that I didn't remember what she was saying, she was like, so what, you want to fight? To I was you? like, yeah. She was like, what, you want to fight? I was like... Why are we going to fight over somebody else's money? Like, this is what you want to do? Like, come on. And I hung up the phone. <laughs> so I so never he said, heard... So you want to fight? Come on? Yeah, like, we finna fight about somebody else's money. Like, come on. The man came in the middle. She was real aggressive with him. I was being real friendly because I know I'm innocent, and she was being aggressive. She real nervous, like, you bang your lip like you sitting down, like you can't be still. <laughs> So when we get to the temp service, Rachelle come out, she like, no, no, I, I mean, like, Genova, I, I won't do this to you. Like, 
I'm my mama, I wouldn't do this to you. I never do you like that. What do you hope happens today? I really hope Rachelle pays. Like, cause we had a tight friendship. Like, we was close. Like, we could. So you want her to pass? Yeah, I want her to pass. So you and want now her? I feel bad for blaming her. I mean, all the time, you know, I do not steal. As far as nervous is go, yes, when I be nervous, I bite the side of my lip. But when I was talking, I was fussing with someone at the job. But that day, everything just was adding up. Like that day, you stayed around me. Like I really hope that you do pass the test. Okay. Like and I, I am. And you I, know, I'm just yeah. going to go my own support. Yeah, you can. Because if when... If you pass. Yeah. I mean, uh, she speaks, she had tears in her eyes when she was talking about you. Yeah, I hope you pass. I feel I bad am. for blinding you. I apologize. If you accept my apology, you accept it. If but you, you got to admit, it's a little suspicious that she shows you the money, and then, you know, they have electronic, they can read where this your card was to access certain doors. And they dinged you a couple times trying to get into that yeah, room. Yeah, that's what I get for playing so much. But, you know, like I said, she been knowing me all my life. All I do is play. I just wish I would have never played at the door. But today You didn't steal the out. money? No, sir. You ever steal anything? No, sir. Never in your life? No, sir. Not a candy bar? No, sir. <laughs> when we asked you, did you participate with anyone to take any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no, you told the truth. <laughs> Do you know for sure who took any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no, you told the truth. <laughs> Did you take any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no, and you told the truth. Uh, Rachelle came here and she took a lie detector test and we asked her, did you participate with anyone else to take any of the missing money from that hotel room? She answered no. She told the truth. <laughs> Do you know for sure who took any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Really? Did you take any of the missing money from that hotel room? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. I didn't take that money. Oh. I did not really? take that money. Like right say you. I ain't you take took no money. Up to all these I words. To God, I like I money. really, really trusted Man, you. Man, I did not take like, no money. Like we were too close, Ray Shay. No, I didn't. I like you, Ray Shay. No you knew what I was going through. I didn't you take no money. You know I'm struggling. I got four children. Okay. Like I, I didn't take from my children. Like you took from my children, man. I didn't take the like, money. Like you took from my children. You ain't give a damn about my okay. children. You ain't care about me. I take the test over. You ain't care about my children. You ain't care. She probably don't regret it. She probably don't have feelings. No. I don't think she's a monster. I mean, uh, but I do. I understand that you're embarrassed, and you, no matter what, you'll keep saying, "I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it." You did it. Some people. But don't whether you want to be bigger than you know your mistake and say to your friend, "You know what? I owe you this month to tell you the truth. Here's your last chance. And then I got to kick you off." Okay, I just get off to you because I didn't take any money. Goodbye. See, she can't even apologize. I, I you ain't care if I need to jail for you. Like these folks would have took take me to jail money. though. Like I wouldn't be okay. wearing my keys. Like my children all she I don't, got. She don't care. My keys is all I got. Like I could have went to jail for these. You could have. They could have just said, "Oh, Genova, this your room." And she was gonna Come let. Come on, you going was, to jail? They and she was gonna let you go to jail. Yes. Okay. Like you didn't care. Um. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about you getting your job back. Um. I mean, I, maybe I would go back and talk to them and, you know, show them the show and say, look, I passed. I mean, whatever. I hope you get a job. But what I can't help is your son's birthday's in a few days. Yes, yeah, We're going to give you some money so you can buy him a birthday present. <laughs> and at least you can do that for your son, OK? Thank you. Right. Good luck to you. And you let us know how things work out, OK? When Tim and his sister Heather appeared on my show, they were hoping to repair years of bitterness caused by money. You see, Tim claimed he and his wife, Melissa, had given Heather a loan using the funds they were saving for a wedding dress. And that money was never repaid. But despite my help, they were not able to resolve their issues. Well, today, I'm going to try again. But first, let's take a look at a clip from their last appearance. Why did you loan your sister the money? Because she's family. 
No, but I mean, did she call you up and say, you know? She I'll... said that she had some deal with a, uh, some group or whatever that had a patent. And she wanted a patent for a car seat or a high chair or something along those lines. And she needed $750 to finish this patent in order to get this patent. Well, I sent her 800 Gave her a year because this dress was being altered or whatever. I gave her time to pay it back. And she, I never heard from her again. She's saying she never got the money. <laughs> yeah, she's OK. <laughs> How did you give her the money? Uh, my wife and I went down to Western Union, uh, sent it either Western Union or MoneyGram right. down at the local Kroger store. So you sent her, you, you wired her the money? Yes. And it was there some kind of receipt where she... she... I called her up the next day to make sure she had gotten and the money. And what did she and say? She said thank you. She had received that money. I am not a liar. I don't owe you a damn thing. I never got anything from you. Several times over the last 20 years that the last thing that I am crazy. No, no, okay? no, no. You're proving uh, that you I are. Think, you know I think what? And I don't owe you a thing. Have a nice life. So I'm a little confused. She brings us here. She just wants to yell. You know something's going on here because here, it was her idea to come on the show, right? She called us. She, as she stayed on stage, that she can't live with being called a thief. So she took a lie detector test to prove she didn't bitch. do it. And like. What did she say about my she wife? She just called I me a bitch. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You know you were coming on a TV show, right? Yes, I know that I'm coming on a TV show. But you know what? I came on a TV show for a certain reason. And we're going to really get to had, that reason. And I really had absolutely no idea that you we're what like, did, we're, we're like, we're like, we're like you are. What did so, I do, what you know what? Did, what did I do I wrong? I want my Tell husband. Tell me what I did wrong. I want my husband. Tell me and what I, I did and wrong. I want, and I want to go. Tell me what I did you wrong. You are a very one-sided person. Well, whose side am I and taking? I want to Whose leave. side am I taking? Whose side am I taking? You are taking their side. How do I know? I don't know if they gave you the money or not. And then what did I say on there? It's got to be more than about money because want, there are a lot of bitter feelings. I want. I can't believe that a brother and sister and will I give you your go. husband. We're gonna send you home. But you came here. You wanted to come on the show. You wanted to take a lie detector test, and we've done that. We fulfilled everything on our end to give you what you want. We couldn't get a conclusive result for you. We couldn't get a cl conclusive result for you. The only person that we could get a conclusive result was you. So we'll read your result. Okay. So we asked you, did Tim tell you that Heather asked him to borrow money? You answered yes. Did Tim lend Heather your wedding dress money? You said yes. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. You're the only one in this entire family that we have that has burned me as hard as you have, and I keep coming back. And I don't know why. I can't do this. I gotta go. Well, Tim, you're back on today. What do you hope happens with today's show? I really just want my sister to get some help. Maybe we can work something out. Well, Tim, Thanksgiving's coming up. Would you like to have your sister be there for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I mean, that would be that would be great. Then she can maybe see the rest of her family, too, you know? Your sister's joining us uh, today. Let's, uh, let's bring her up on the screen. Hey, Heather. Hey. How you doing? I'm good, but Tim, Timmy's a liar. He is. He's a, he's a liar. What All do you want to, what do you want to say? lie about me, and that's not okay. What do you want to the say? The phone call was, there was one phone call, one phone call, and it was a couple weeks ago, where he sent me a message and he asked me to call him, which I did, and he decided <laughs> he was going to tell me that I have this uppity attitude, I'm holier than thou, and I'm better than everybody, and that's not true. Heather, do you want a relationship with your brother? I have no room for toxicity in my life. That includes him. So you don't want a relationship with your brother? No, I'm not going to make room in my life for Okay. It's not going to happen. Hey, Heather, will you admit today that you did receive the money, though? He never sent me anything. Anything, ever. I never asked him for anything. He never sent me anything. 
What about the mm. fact that his wife, when she was here, she passed the lie detector test about sending the money? No, she passed the lie detector test about, did Tim tell her this? Did Tim do this? So all she's got to go off of is what he says to her. Of course she passed the lie detector test because she was telling the truth. Melissa's here, Tim. Let's bring her into the screen. All right, so I don't know who the hell you think you are. I went with him to send you the money. I didn't lie because I went down there and I filled out the paperwork myself. I'm sure and you did. And as a matter of fact, I'm sure you did. Union, it was sure Graham, okay? I was there, so I know who I sent the money to. So if you can't even stop lying, maybe you should go get some x-rays or an MRI and find out what's wrong with your frontal lobe because something's wrong with you. You're going to tell me you're going to let your family get torn apart over $800? That's more than that, man. The, the money isn't important. It was, it was my wedding dress money. And I, the reason why I went ahead and I gave it to him to do this with is because ever since they've been in foster care, all he wanted was to draw his family back together. So the money to me didn't matter. Me and him still got married. We have a beautiful daughter together. We have a wonderful life. But this has caused a lot of issues because I keep telling him, you know what, maybe he could just work it out. It'll be okay. Maybe she'll come too. Maybe she'll get the help that she needs. Heather, he wants a good relationship with you. Be a good, good person right now and talk to your brother and make it right right now. Forget about the money. Just the love of a sister and a brother. Come on. I, I always have love for him. Talk to him I right now. Talk do. to him. Talk to Tim. I can't. Oh, Heather. That's not something that I can do right now. Look, I'm just, there's no way. I can't, I can't do that right now. All right, Heather. You, you, know, love, you know, when I I'm... Just if there's if there was a way to actually make it right and for there to actually be a relationship i love my brother more than i can ever say but that does not mean that i have to have him in my ear yelling at me and talking down to me and judging me what I if he apologizes hey tim for that t uh, tim can you tell your sister you're not going to talk down to her and that you will be nice in your conversations with her I can say that. Well, tell her. I can do that. I can talk to her without talking down to her. I just really want some peace and some closure to all this. And wow. if she can't look at me and say anything or even apologize. She's trying, or, Tim. You know, Don't, hey, Tim, stop right there. She's both trying. Heather, what do you say? Fresh start? I can try. OK, that's, that's right. You can try. Well, I just want to tell you, Heather, on Thanksgiving Day, you know, about 4, 4.30, when I'm cutting into my turkey, you're going to say, Steve's happy right now because I'm trying. Right? What's going to happen on Thanksgiving Day at 4.30? Steve's going to be happy. Is there a game on? Because if there's a game on, I don't think I'm going to be thinking about you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Heather. These holidays, as we get older, you get fewer and fewer of them together. You don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Your brother loves you. Heather, I think you're really a good person with a big heart, and I hope that you guys can get off to a fresh start. I wish your, your family a whole lot of luck. Um, I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope that you, know, you guys can repair this relationship because I think even though you won't really openly admit it, I think it's important to you, and it's obviously very important for your brother, Tim. My friend Dada is accusing me of stealing her $1,000 rent check. I'm here because I'm being accused of stealing the money. I wasn't there. I didn't know nothing about it. Me and Dada has been friends for over 20 years. Uh, we're like sisters. We're all longtime friends. Me, Tequila, and Dada, but Dada and Tequila are longer friends. They've been 20 plus years. Me and Tequila have been friends about 11 years. Dada said I'm the number one suspect and it feels hurtful. But it's Tequila who is accusing me and throwing me under the bus. The day the money came up missing, 
we all had a long stressful week of work we wanted to let our hair down hang out kick it go to the casino had a lot of laughs ended the night the next morning after i got off of work Donna had called me and asked me had I seen her money order. I told her I have not and have never seen it. Maybe Dada misplaced it. Maybe Dada don't remember what she did with it. We was a little intoxicated. Maybe Dada threw the money order away by mistake. Dada didn't really accuse me. I didn't know nothing. She was trying to get a hold of me. Tequila is my friend and she act like she didn't know how to get a hold of me. She couldn't contact me. So that's what made it suspicious. I did not steal her money and I would never have stole anything from my friend. I will not steal from her or any of my friends. I don't appreciate how Tanisha and Dada ganged up on me to make me feel like I was the guilty one. It made me angry that they came to me like I was just this thief and they know me as a thief and we know you did it give it back type of, yeah, and it peed me off. Behind my back, Tequila said she would have never brought me if she thought I would steal from her. Me and Dada's been friends for so long, she only knows Tanisha through me, and she was allowing Tanisha to speak for her and not speak up for me. Tanisha said to me, like, give it back, I know you got it. I think Tequila is guilty of stealing the money because she didn't call me, she didn't contact me, she, I talked to her. After the money came up missing, she didn't let me know that it came up missing. She didn't say nothing about the money order until Dada reached out to me through a friend on Facebook. And then once she found out that we were communicating, then she was not answering our phone calls. We were going by her house. She wasn't there. And so that's why we like it's suspicious. If Dada didn't misplace it, there's only one explanation. Tanisha took the money. Tequila is the one who said that it was in a white envelope and she's seen the envelope underneath my pants. The white envelope could have been in Tanisha's back pocket. I'm not for sure or for certain. Tequila would not even look Dada in the eye. That's her longtime friend. She wouldn't communicate and she was trying to avoid her. I want Tanisha and Dada to know that I did not touch, see, or steal no money order and I did not appreciate how they jumped in my car to make it seem like I was an old petty thief. I know I'm gonna pass, but if tequila fails, our friendship is over. Dada has been knowing me for over 20 years. We lived together. I have never stole from her, and she doesn't know me to be a thief. I wanted Dada to take the lie detector test because if I say I'm telling the truth and I pass, and Tanisha's telling the truth and she passed, where is the money? Are you kind of certain that one of the two stole the money? Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I believe it was Tequila because... You're a close friend. Yeah, I believe Tequila Why did Why would it. she steal from you? I don't know. I, I would hope not. But she was the last person in my house. Yeah. You know, we should have the expectation of and it was... security in our own house. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't think like, well, I got to hide something because my friend's coming over. No. Yeah. And I didn't want to hide it because I would have forgot to put it in a drop box. Right. When did you notice that the money order was gone? Um, after I woke up, after uh, Tequila left my door open, um, we went out that night, and Tequila and Tanisha dropped me off at home. When we got home, Tanisha and sister, or Tequila insisted on coming upstairs to use my restroom. What did Tequila say about Tanisha's involvement? She said that uh, she saw her at the casino that night with like something that might look like a white envelope in her back pocket. Did you, did you make a police report? Yes. Yeah. And, but, and me being a former policeman. It ain't yeah, going nowhere. Yeah. I mean, you know, somebody loses a thousand bucks on the street, say, it's gone. Yeah. They, basically the police said, um, they took names and everything, but the police they said that police it wasn't nothing that, that they could really do because the right. door was left open, so anybody could have just walked in there. Right. You is bogus. What happened to the money, Tequila? You is so bogus, Dada. You're not even stating whole facts. I never said I couldn't come up with the money to move into my crib, first off. Second off, I'm moving Friday, payday. I work, too. Second off. You never even came to me 
We've been friends far too long. You could have came to me. And no, we was not sitting at no table. And no, I wasn't answering my phone. I text you. And what I say, I'm at work. No, you never answered. You never answered I at all. I text you. I called Y'all you. Y'all called me over Tequila, and over and you over, over again. and over and over again. I'm at and work. And if somebody calling you that much, they want something. So I felt but like I'm you could have. You could have said something. I'm, no, no, so I why was it so, why was it so I'm hard? I'm Why was it so hard to get a hold of um, Tanisha? Tanisha, I gave you what name I thought was her Facebook name. Tanisha has four different Facebook accounts. All of them have different names. Thank you, Lisa. Um, really kind of heated, right? Yes. You know, the th how would you say all three of you are very close? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then one night you're going to the casino for a mm -hmm. night out, and uh, she comes home, da da, and she realizes the money order is gone. Right. Yeah. Now, She's been friends with Tequila for 18 years. I guess mm -hmm. they used to live together. You've been friends uh, for a shorter period, right? Right. How for, long? Well, Tequila, 10 years, and Dada, probably about five. OK. But you would say you're close mm -hmm. friends? Would you steal the money from no. her? No. Um, did you steal the money? No. Why do you, but you think Tequila stole the money. I think Tequila took the money because she lied about how to get a hold of me. She knew how to get a hold of me. We hang out every day. And if so you're is... not some mysterious woman with all these mysterious Facebook accounts? No. She know exactly how to press that button and get a hold of me. We okay. talk after that happened. She never told me about the money order. She never, we've talked twice. And she never said, oh, Dada money order came missing. Dada friend reached out to me on Facebook. And I'm like, why is she calling me on Facebook? So I called Dada. She like, girl, my money order is missing. And I'm like, why Tequila didn't call me? So I hangs up with her and I try to call Tequila, no answer. I'm like, okay, we're going to her house. Dada said, I'm getting off work. We goes over there, she's not home. So I'm like, we wait a few days, we go back over there. She's there, she's cleaning and scrubbing the floor. She wouldn't talk to us. She's basically like, she don't got time for this. She have to go to work, but this is your friend. She's finna be out in the street. Yeah. You should be, let's figure this out. Yeah. There's gonna be no fighting, right? No, we talking, we yeah. good friends. But I gotta be comfortable for this. Your whole story just sounds Y'all did not come to my house and then see me a couple days later. Y'all went to my house. My kids told y'all I was at work. I met y'all as soon as I got off. Okay, work. I understand that. But if that girl, right. if you're, but I'm a liar and I'm a thief. But you love me. Yeah, I love you. But girl. if your friend, if your friend, money ought to come up. Why you didn't call me? You know how to get a hold of me. We talk every day. We don't every talk morning. Th Every morning, Tequila. We done We live four about minutes away this. from each other. You know Tanisha. exactly where I live at. Why you didn't bring her to my house when that money order came up missing? Why you didn't call me and say, look, friend, my friend said her money order was coming up missing. You and I was there. You didn't let me know. And I talked to you the next day for like two, 20 minutes, twice. You didn't say, oh, that our money order. You was like, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to come out today. I got to work. You never said nothing about her money order came up missing. <laughs> Stand I'm tired up. of up. Why are you tired of standing up? You've been sitting down all night, up. all day. You should be want to stand up. You should stand up. It's Talk a, to your friends. So, situation. you know, it's kind of interesting here. Uh, you've been friends with Tequila for a long time, and Tanisha and Tequila are closer friends than you, according to them. And she mm -hmm. says, listen, I love Tequila, but she's a liar and a thief, but she's still my friend. And mm -hmm. I changed and came up missing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little things, cigarettes, little things, you know, but I didn't come to you because... And I talked to you, to you at... C cigarettes? Tanisha, you ain't never got your own pack of cigarettes. You smoke blacks, remember? Does anybody think Dada is lying about the money being stolen? No. Not one person. Does anybody think that Tanisha is lying? No. Not one person? No. Okay, one. Who thinks that Tequila's lying? <laughs> tequila took a lot to take the test. And we asked her, did you take Dada's money order? She answered no. She told the truth. What? Huh? Huh? Well, Tisha took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did you take Dada's money order? She answered no. The result for her lie detector test is that Tanisha did not tell the oh! truth. Steve, are you serious? Are you serious? I didn't take no money order from her. 
Do you believe that? I didn't take no money order from you, Donna. Oh, I need a lawyer. I'm going to another lie detector test. We're going to another one. I promise you, you're probably, oh, my baby. You're probably gonna need a lawyer, but I don't know. I never you know. took no money. I, I don't even have it. This is weird. Okay. I, yeah. No, no, it is weird. I'm lost for words. I, I never took no money from her. Yeah. And this is all my kids. You came across very credible, but you know. I never took no money, did, so is you serious? Job. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Oh, we coming yeah. back. Yeah, this hope, is weird. I would love that. Yeah, I will too. Uh, Cause free, this, I ain't never take no money from her. To bring that I ain't never take good. no money from her. What Shut I wanna, up. Hold on. What do you want to say there? No, I want to go home. This is weird. This is real weird. That's how I know his. his if you want to go, you no, know what? Steve, I don't. No, I, I don't want to go. Okay. Because but then is, you got to be quiet. Okay, I'm sorry. You got to be quiet. What do you want to say to her? Never take money. This is crazy. I'm sorry, see? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mike, you know what? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm you, sorry. You're a thief. You're a liar. I'm Get sorry. the hell off my stage. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> you know, this was tough. Can you mend your relationship? It's up to her. If she don't want to be my, my friend, I, more, I can more understand. Than a friend. You're, uh... Damn, you're... I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody was listening to the... I was. Yeah. Okay, so, Tanisha, you're gonna go home and f f tell the police that she yeah. fell aside the text us? Okay. We're gonna give you a thousand bucks. Oh, thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> we, you know, listen. I think everybody can understand what it's like to, you know, struggle to pay rent, struggle to pay bills, um, especially now. I mean, it's tough for everybody. You know, when we go through life and we have close friends of 18 years, those are, that's even worse than losing money. So I hope you guys can fix this up. I hope the $1,000 helps you, and good luck to you, okay? Thank Very you, nice Steve.